Hello there, and uh, welcome to a brand new game uh, that I'm playing right now. It's called uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and this goes out to all the Dragon Ball Xenoverse guys. Uh, for everyone who wants to uh, pretty much know the best PvE build, I know you're going to find a lot of uh, uh, builds online that says the best build. Uh, Rhyme Style has a lot of good videos, and and uh, Thundershock is another guy that I'm uh, watching right now who has a lot of good videos. Um, and everybody's putting out these best builds and everything, but uh, there I don't think they're giving you the right data that I think you should receive and there's a difference between PvE or PvP right there. I was looking at online battles and PvE Okay, parallel quests are different from online battles and everybody right now is wanting to know what the best um, Pretty much the PvP builds, which one is the best one to do. But I, I got tired of that. I would just wanted to make the best PvE build. Uh, and so I'm going to pretty much give you straight up what it is. Uh, and without any uh, cut and dry stuff in between. Uh, beating around the bush. So let's get right to it. What I want to show you first is I want to show you, you know, it's better to look at uh, experience than it is to just speculate from everybody else is giving it to you. Uh, this is all PvE. This is the mentors. Okay, they're all PvE, and as you can tell, I have all of them Z'd out. Uh, Tien is right now I'm working on, and for some reason, stupid god Beerus never shows up. And it pisses me off because he has such a low drop rate in this entire thing. I mean, if I look around this entire thing, I got Tien working on it, but I got every single mentor Z'd out. And this didn't take too long at all. It's the build that I'm using. Actually, you know, I'm not going to look for him. I, that just pisses me off. Anyways, so let's go uh, right into it again. I'm going to first show you my equipment that I'm using. The only thing you need to take from this is, um, yeah, you need to get uh, this four-star Dragon Ball costume. Those are pretty cheap compared to everything else. Oops, I just do it for aesthetics. Um, so if you look at my uh, key blast, which actually, let me go to that first real quick. I have 100 key and 100 key blast. And the rest in stamina. The only reason why I have stamina at all is because of this. Uh, I use Angry Shout just for I can get more key. That's pretty much the only reason why. So I, I have max key and max key blast. There, I'm going to go with you step by step on how to create the best PvE character. But what you really want to do is the YU. Okay, now where to get the YU? Alright. Let's go over here, Greetings. and to get YU, you're going to go into Parallel Quest 15. It says right there is YU. You get YU. And what does this do, if, um, what this does is that it gives you, uh, activates when you KO an enemy, key charges at max. I'm going to give you a demonstration of what that looks like here very shortly, so stick with me. But then I'm going to show you the skills. The only ones you need to pay attention to is maximum charge. You'll want to get maximum charge or any charge move ever, but uh, maximum charge is the best move to get. Uh, Super Vegeta 2 gives you uh, extra bonus power to your key blast, so you're going to want to get that, but until you get that, you want to get any Super Saiyan form. And the ultimate attack is I'm going to go through a list of ultimate attacks of what I used as I went, but the best one to get is Lord Beerus's um, AOE attack because the ultimate attack, the best ones to use are the AOE ultimate attacks. And I'll run you a quick rundown on that as time goes on. But the only ones that you need to focus on right now are is, uh, Maximum Charge, Super Vegeta 2, and an AOE high damage uh, key blast ultimate attack, which I will go through you in that. So. Uh, one more time, uh, I have everything Z'd out. Uh, a lot of my parallel quests, um, they're also Z'd out. This is Z, this one's like an, a high S, uh, Z, and even my story missions, they're Z out as well. And uh, so I'm going to go through you character creation of exactly what you want to do. Now, if you're, par if you're already level 80, um, that's great because you can just make a brand new character. If you're starting from scratch... I'm going to show you what to do first, but first let's go through um, a quick lesson on if you're already level 80. You see all these that are pretty much around level 35. I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to create a brand new character. This is what you want to do. Don't listen to anybody else. This is what you want to do. You want to go see female. Females can use Z assist more frequently. Better key and stamina recovery, but lower health. So always 
get it they have better key than the men it doesn't matter about appearance we're gonna go right into it uh oh yeah one thing about appearance though yeah you want low uh, low height and low body weight okay because those are the only two things in appearance that that really matter it does uh change uh, the amount of key blast you get so get both as low as possible. There's other videos online You can look up. It doesn't matter and I'll hang back and blast them from afar Finish creator creation gonna go single lobby. So there's not as much lag on here And this is just a default. I, I have mine to blue fairy because I just liked um, I thought it was cute Okay, so this is exactly what you do want to do. Don't listen to anybody else if you're going just for Z-ing out this is what I call it. That's what I call it. I Z out um, the mentors. I Z out um, this, uh, the, all the PVE. Okay, so this is what you want to do if you're um, starting out from scratch. If you already have, if you have a level 80 character, that's great. Because what, what you can do is you can... Um, get all of your stuff up excuse me um all your parallel quests because the the one you want to do is after you make your character creation so you make a female saiyan lowest body weight lowest height you're gonna go on offline parallel quest you're gonna go down over here into dangerous duo okay and you're going to do that until you reach level 35 and i'm gonna do just one quick one okay uh, I've done this to multiple characters all at the same time. My original character that I had, I deleted him as well. Yes, I'm ready. Uh, yes, it doesn't matter I'm who ready. it is. I usually pick my mentor I have at the time, uh, and that l helps level it up faster. And that's uh, how I got everything, uh, all the mentors fast too. So I'm just gonna quickly grab these Dragon Balls. What's the problem? And Please I will be back. All the <gasps> okay, no, and here's the last Dragon Ball. I skipped all that, so you don't have to go through that crap. Because you have enough of that online already, right? And watch the level. You're going to get much, much See? stronger. Don't slack Go off all the on way up train. from level one to two. Oh, all the way to level fifteen. Okay. Okay. So the first time you go through, you're gonna go up to level fifteen. The second time you go through, you're gonna go up to level twenty-five. And I timed it on a couple of characters, and <clears throat> you get up to level thirty-five um, in fifteen minutes. It takes you. And what that does is it, it makes your attributes points all the way up to 100. So as soon as you get all through that, you're going to raise the Kai Blast Super all the way up to level 100. And what this does is it allows you to play the end game. And by the end game, I mean the high experience and, uh, um, and uh, high money uh, battles with, uh, uh, I mean, parallel quests with your low level character. So you can keep leveling uh, him or I mean her up because it's only her you're not picking a male so all these over here give you high experience and high rewards uh, but you what you're really going to do is you're going to be using this character once you get 100 uh, in your blast key you're going to be moving it uh, to uh, get the items and things that you want um, to farm and so uh, to square one whenever I first started playing the game uh, what I needed to do was I needed to get the the right type of uh, moves for my ultimates right so if you're starting from scratch this is for you um, the first one you want to get is you want to do the ultimate attack uh, where is it I wrote it down it's gonna be final flash it's gonna be key blast final flash right there okay what this does um, is it, it gives you a really high powered attack early in the game you can only get it from the mentor Vegeta uh, only at level 8. At level 30, you're going to want to get uh, perfect, uh, perfect Kamehameha. And that's going to be from the Mentor of Cell. And you can find all this stuff online. It's, uh, it's, it's really easy to find online. So you're going to want to get first, you'll, you'll want to get Final Flash from Vegeta Mentor. Then you're going to want to get uh, perfect Kamehameha from Cell. And then you're going to want to farm the crap. This is where it becomes stupid because the uh, drop rates of these things are stupid, okay? You're going to want to farm the crap out of Parallel Quest 25, okay? Right here. This is where you the only place you get Super Electric Strike. And that's going to get you through most of the end game for PvE. And the last, of course, not least, and I hate it the most because I haven't been able to see him at all. Uh, and that is Lord Beerus. This guy right here. See how everything Z'd out? 
Lord Beerus is the only one that's not Zed out. It pisses me off. It really does because I can't ever find the guy. Uh, his um, his sphere of destruction is the most uh, powerful AOE skill in the game. So that's going to be your end game um, ultimate you'll want to uh, farm for, which is not hard. The super electric strike is the, the biggest challenge out of all of this. And so um, so we covered the the we covered the skill uh, the equipment YU. So here's YU. Actually, I have on my character. Let me uh, let me switch real, uh, real quick out uh, to my other character. And as you can tell over here, uh, I'm just gonna delete this character real quick because I don't need her. Um, this is my PVP build. It has a hundred key as well. Uh, I have a special skills on here. Uh, I'm not gonna show you what that is. Uh, I'll, I'll save it for another video. It's gonna be the most powerful uh, unknown PVP builds in the entire game uh, that the majority of people don't even know. Um, here's my PvE character, and those are all 35 roundish because I just wanted to get to 100. This one has 100 in key blast. This one has 100 in melee attack, and both both uh, this one and this one are for PvP as well as this. But this is my PV, PvE build. Um, so let's get right back into it. Okay, now that we're back, uh, I'm gonna show you a quick demonstration of what my build does, and it's uh, level 40 or uh, parallel quest 46. This is the best one to show uh, a demonstration of the power of this. So I'm going to go right into it. Wait for the loading screen. I'm going to pick my character. I turned off the music so you can actually hear my voice. Why not? And I'm picking my mentor so my mentor Why can grow, not? even though my mentor doesn't mean jack squat to me, to be honest. Uh, the only reason for the PvE build is to farm the stupid drop rates because the drop rate is, is stupid. I don't know what they were thinking. So the first one you want to do is um uh, right now yeah i have enough time so i'm gonna just build up three three key bars right collect all the dragon balls go super vegeta too enemy took the dragon ball and i'm gonna go and i'm gonna kill this guy and with a super electric strike okay i gotta lower my my volume of my thing and then watch my watch my attribute why you those are my team all right next one next victim so it's on to the next one i'm not gonna even go through the dragon balls um, right there. Okay, super electric strike. Watch my key, guys. Two hits is all it takes. The reason why you want AOE skills is because if you have multiple enemies, you destroy them all. My YU takes effect. I get more key onto the next one. And this helps a lot with the end game. And this is the reason why you want super, um, super Vegeta 2. And my YU builds up again. So I'm going to end that one. I just wanted to show you a demonstration of how it is and how easily it is and how it's uh, how it's really effective. So um, one more time through attributes: 100 and key blast supers, 100 and key because um, with your YU it'll fill it up all the way to the top, uh, where you can keep going on to the next stage transition without any problems whatsoever. Uh, skill sets: you want maximum charge just to build up that first three bars before killing your first uh, enemy to keep charging it up for Super Vegeta 2 and the AoE skill which I'm waiting for stupid God Beerus to finally show up so I can get his uh, sphere of destruction but for the time being I have a super electric strike so that's uh, that's the PVE build It's the very best PVE build you can possibly have uh, in the game right now uh, the game is uh, kind of changing but the game is pretty much broken um, so this is the best one that I've found and uh, no other video on online pretty much shows it. I mean it's you'd have to get it from other parts other videos like uh, about the size differences and everything you have to look all into that but uh, I'm pretty much giving you what you need to know to create the best uh, PVE characters in the game so you can just get all your mentors Z'd out okay and then stupid God Beerus whenever he wants to show up Anyways, um, so if you guys want to find out what the best PvP build in the game, hands down, is it's, it's the most cheap one I've found. It's unknown. It's not what you think it is. It's completely not what you think it is, and it's so unknown, then I would say subscribe and wait one month because I have to farm the stupid parallel quest. Um, to get Super Electric Strike, it took me exactly three hours of farming, and uh, and I was using perfect Kamehameha at the time. And to get this next, uh, the ultimate attack, I only need an ultimate attack for my uh, PvP build. 
and in order to get it, it I, I wasted five hours of farming, straight farming, five hours, and I still never got this stupid drop, okay? That's the reason why I hate it, because you have to wait until the trans transition comes, uh, just so you can get a random chance of the transitioning showing up. And then you get another random chance of the RNG random number generator for your uh, skill to drop. So five straight hours on a weekend playing the game nonstop, trying to farm the stupid skill, and I never got it. And so I'm going to have to keep farming it. Uh, and so if you give me a month, I'll uh, have my character up to level 80. And hopefully I'll have that skill by then. And I'll give you the very best um, PvP build to play in the game hands down. Uh, that is completely unknown on on the online everybody else is using super electric strike and and counters and everything like I have a counter build and everything but this move is unblockable uh, it is unknown it's it's actually a combination key blast so stay tuned for that uh, in the meantime guys you have a wonderful day and here's blue fairy um, signing off so blue fairy give him a wave yeah, isn't she cute? I think she's cute. All right, guys. You guys have a good day. Bye.